Pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get to stay Cause I got it like that Always in my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on I was alright Everyone, my name is Erica I'm working as a business analyst In the Atlanta area I've been working from home for two months now For this company And then I did my previous internship from home as well I work in analytics as a business analyst. So what that is, is we just analyze data, provide recommendations, make dashboards, things like that. I absolutely love what I do. Um, I think it's a great role and it's pretty visible. So I get to interact with a lot of different people in the organization. Um, I'm excited to show you what I do in a day. Keep watching. Now we're just trying to pick something to wear. I'll keep you updated on what I ended up deciding. All right, I ended up deciding to wear this Banana Republic flannel top. It's getting a little colder lately, so. Is colder a word? Cooler lately? So I decided to be more fall vibes. So yeah, let's go. Also, I wanna address my makeup situation, I'm not wearing any today. Um, there's probably like 70% of the time that I don't wear any makeup at work. I'm trying to push myself not to, just because it's kind of a double standard sometimes. And if men can wake up, get to work, not have to worry about makeup, you know, sometimes I don't want to either. So yeah, no makeup for the day. I think it should be good. But also, if you're a woman, a man, anyone at work that feels more confident when you wear makeup, I'd say go for it. It should just really be what your preference is and not what society is telling you to do. Now I'm just checking everything that I have to do for the day. I have a couple of meetings and then I have to work on putting together a presentation for an executive today that my manager assigned for me. Um, it should be a good day. It should be productive. I'm excited also, to Also, sometimes I like to write out everything that I'm supposed to be doing. It just, I don't know. I'm one of those people that loves writing things down and I love crossing things off. So I might also do that for today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, what I like to do is make little folders for every week and then dump everything that I did for that week into the folder. So that way, if someone three months from now is like, what did you do that morning in October? I need this analysis. Then I can kind of pull that out very quickly instead of having to dig through everything I've done ever. Okay, so now I'm ready to get in the zone. I worked on a dashboard Thursday, Friday of last week that I'm presenting to my manager today. So I'm going in and making some final edits before I have to present it to my manager and see what he thinks. Um, and then if all goes well, we get to publish it sometime later this week. So it's going to be a pretty exciting day. And honestly, like I kind of like criticism <laughs> because I think it really helps you grow at work. Um, so anytime I get, you know, specific kind of advice for what to do better, I try to implement that into the next time I do anything. So it kind of helps me get better every day and be a better analyst. All right, a quick update. One of my meetings got canceled. So I only have the one meeting that I'm, where I'm talking to my manager. So that should be good because I'll have some extra time to perfect this dashboard and then also get some time to start working on my other project that is due for tomorrow. I usually have some background music going on, like lo-fi when I work, but I also want to chat about the tools I use at work. And typically when I'm dashboarding, I either use Power BI, um, I've also used Tableau previously, 
And then I use R anytime I am trying to program or make a regression, find insights that way. So that's pretty good. And then I'm trying to get more into Python. Um, I know that it's pretty well used in the industry, but I've kind of used R in my master's program. And then that's kind of what I've been using um, at my work too. So I like R, curious about Python. So I might do a couple of introduction to Python videos and see which one I like better. Um, and then I use Excel at times. I'm also trying to get a bit better at Excel. There's so many little Excel tips and tricks that you can use to make life much easier. So an area I definitely want to improve as well. Um, yeah, those are mostly, oh, and SQL of course, um, which is the structured query language. And that's all about data manipulation and pulling data, how um, pulling data in a way that you could use it for analysis. Hello, it's now 1.20 p.m. I had my meeting with my manager. It went well, he liked the dashboard. I have a couple of changes to make to it and then I have to get started on this other um, analysis project. I'm about to have lunch, I'm starving. So I'll talk to you guys a bit later. All right, lunch is done. I had potato and rice, it was great. I also changed into something more comfortable. It was getting a little too hot. Georgia is kind of weird in the fall. I think it gets much cooler in the morning time and then it warms up significantly. So I often have to change <laughs> to not completely burn up. So we're changed, we're ready to work. It's 1.45. I have a few more hours to work. I might have one more uh, meeting, a check-in meeting along the way today, but pretty straightforward. I'm gonna keep working and we'll talk more soon. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that Always in my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on I was alright on my own Till I fell but it wasn't fake And I couldn't tell at the time But I was my own soulmate It's like I forgot I was fine Let you treat me any kind of way Now I'm free, you gotta celebrate You couldn't see everything and stay I wasn't afraid to say hello it is now right around 4 30. i've been chugging along working it's been good i do have a presentation early tomorrow so may have to put in an extra hour or two i'm hoping to be done by six so let's see how that goes i'll update you a little bit later Okay, so today I mostly worked on two things. I had a dashboard that I was working on where I kind of redesigned it mostly and made it more aesthetically pleasing. I met with my manager, we went over it. He had great things to say about it, but we are making a couple of changes for it going forward. And then also I had to work on an insight report for executives um that's you tomorrow so i was doing a bit of work on the on that and then yeah that's kind of mostly what i did i had two meetings today but one got canceled and then i had my one meeting with my manager but overall it's kind of a pretty typical day there are some days that i have way more meetings some days i have no meetings some days i'm in r programming the whole day other days i don't touch r so it just really depends but Usually I'm talking to people, gathering insight on what I'm supposed to be doing, and then digging into the data or building reports. So that's mostly what I do. Um, I really enjoy it and it's a career that I can really see myself in in the next few years as well. I also want to add a quick tip. I use a notebook to organize all of my thoughts and anytime I'm in a meeting, I jot down notes in here. I found that to be really helpful because there's a lot of information to remember just about the industry and about the objectives and goals. So anytime I have a question, I kind of look back in here and see what I jotted down instead of having to go bother someone about it. 
So I found that to be really helpful in my first two months of working. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'd love to make more day in the life of a business analyst videos and just in general about working from home and kind of being in this crazy time during the pandemic and kind of progressing through this. So thanks for watching, appreciate it and subscribe and like. Thank you.